I'm philosophical. This is my channel. This is the message today. God damn it. I just want to state for the record, I had nothing to do with what happened to Lucas. Okay, but I'm going to flip some names out for the people that did real quick before I start. Before I start this message. All right, tell me the people, the main people that were involved. I know Tiffany Williams, which is actually a man, and, and two other chicks actually uh, sexually assaulted, we'll say, him with an object. Okay, but let's see. Um, let's see some other names so we can clear this shit up. There's always a Freeman involved. Gary Freeman. And this is the one yesterday that was actually sexually assaulting a baby and, and invented some kind of device to stretch the baby open. All right. This is who some people are hanging with. Okay. Uh, let's see who else. Who else's name is coming out? Uh, what's this? Is this Teresa? Or is this Teresa? Hold on a second. Thomas Tyson or Teresa probably a Teresa because there was a lot of females uh, that were mad that he wanted to marry me and he actually brought his mother's engagement ring and wrote me a letter um, I'm guessing that they liked him and he didn't want no parts of the uh, walking methane cloud females that seem to be taking up Ben Salem uh, a lot be careful you dudes a lot of these chicks have full-blown AIDS because whether you know it or not some of your wives and girlfriends have been prostituting behind your back um, and who's, and who else, uh, is this Dave or Daniel Riaz? Um, who else? Is this L Larry Oscar? Larry Oscar. We're just going to get this shit out on the table now. Cause I got, and, and, and there are people who have software where they'll record your voice and then they'll put your voice on something else. For everybody that's doing that to me and anyone else, your time is coming. Okay, I put that shit on every goddamn thing. So, um, making fake text messages. Be, be wary. If, if, if you know someone is a certain way and then people that look like the walking dead are saying that they converse with somebody on their phone, just use your discernment. You know what I mean? Does that person look like they would even speak to these people on the phone? Just ask some questions or, or just use your discernment. Who else was involved? Who else was involved? Who else was involved? Don't try coming around me with a jammer. I can jam your jammer with a scatter frequency. I can already feel somebody's thinking that it's going to upload. If I got to walk out of here with a knife in my hand as well to make sure that this video uploads, believe me when I tell you, it's going to upload. There's nothing you could do. These people are disgusting here. There's people selling their children. There's uh, Tamika Jones, her, her child, Saint. Was in the room. That's the one that Gary Freeman was doing that shit with. Let's just get it out. Sean Mopa was also involved. So there, there's a whole group of people that were involved in what happened with Lucas. All right. Uh, Omar Dillon is, a, is the one uh, that set fire uh, to Trina, the cop. Philosoph philosophical. Why well, they put philosophical on the ghost app. So did somebody say who is that? Yeah, Philly. It's Philly. Um, is it Omar Dillon? Omar Dillon is the one... That um, set fire to train. This is this is the shit that I experience here for people who watch my channel and, and they're not around this area. It's disgusting. But let's see what URO is. A word usually said to a guy or a gal who one finds attractive. So let's talk about this. All right, tell me about this person that someone finds attractive or people find attractive. Aquarius. Uh, but this is the look. Aquarius and Virgo. But th this is a star. This is someone who's wise they're smart they stick to themselves right they're better by themselves they are their own wish fulfillment this is like i don't need anybody to make me happy i'm content with myself the grass is greener around me type of shit i thrive when i'm solo all right so tell me more about this what is this people listen to what this person has to say but this is also spying on someone as well this is someone that, what, but this is a speaker. All right. If this isn't an air sign male, because it could be an Aquarius male as well. This is somebody that speaks with force. This is like rolling with an iron fist, speaking facts, because the king of swords and the upright is someone that speaks facts. This is like a leader. If this is a male or if this is a female, that's in male energy. The way that they speak. 
Tell me more. Tell me more about this stuff. Thank you. Picked the wrong one. What else is new? <laughs> Once again, some people picked the wrong one. Why are you picking anybody? Why don't, why don't you guys get on with your lives? Gave out your phone number? Oh, well. Who cares? Who cares if they gave it out? You don't have to answer. You know what I mean? Somebody could have given out the wrong phone number to somebody. Hold on a second. Um, let me pause. Anyway. <laughs> These broads, oh, you broads give me life, I'm telling you. So, it, you know what, it's funny, you're probably a chosen one. I feel like you're chosen because it feels like you don't have an ounce of jealousy in you. Am I wrong? You're chosen. I knew it. I knew it because I could tell because of the reason you wanted the number, I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, absolutely because I have no females around at all except for a couple of them around here that are chosen ones. And the, most of them are men. You know, it's because a lot of the females, they don't, they don't know what to do with that shit. You know what I mean? They're selling their ass and selling their soul and selling their kids and everything else that comes with it. All right. So they picked the wrong one to fuck with. All right. So if you're a chosen one and you're, and you're around certain people, it could be because you're a target. I would be careful of what you're drinking than putting something in your drink. You are the most moderately funny person I know. So somebody could be funny or this could just be some people who thought that something was funny and it's like, all right, you're moderately funny. And then somebody could be excessively funny. Let me get another one. Complexity purchase. This is usually purchasing a child when they put that on there though. I hope that you're not around people who are um, trying to take your child. You're as good as two or three of my lesser friends. So somebody needs a friend. I need friends. Can I just be around some normal people? That's what I just heard. Like, can I just meet some normal people? You know, um, for most chosen ones, especially when you know who you are, you would rather be alone than to be around people who bring you down or just have conversations that mean nothing. This is like, Hey, what are you doing? None. What are you doing? None. So what have you been up to? Like, like that kind of shit. Like we, we get antsy, you know, it's almost like your skin. You start to, you start to itch. I start to itch when I'm around, <laughs> when I'm around certain people, if you start to itch around people roll, uh, they could have cooties and that could just be energetically you feeling it look destroyer. Yeah, this is like destroying others' dreams of potential. So you're sitting around. Somebody's around a bunch of people that just like to destroy things for people. Like, you look at their face. You don't have to say a word, right? Just just look at the people's faces, right? The, the eyes tell you everything. Most people's eyes anymore are like hollow and black, um, dark circles and shit, like hair all matted, uh, their posture is down. Like, when you're around people like that, run. Uh, that'll tell you everything about some people. Um, a fool. But this is a Hayoka, though. Yeah. Uh, there could be an Aries here. These people like to make fun of people, but it's like, look at you. You know, these are the types of people that'll sit there and mock somebody else. But, like, look at your teeth. Look at your hair. Look at your body. Look at your clothes. Look at your life. You know? Uh, maybe somebody needs to go look at a bar of soap for once this week. I mean, I don't know. Let's just keep moving. Um, all right. So tell me more about this. Grab life by the balls and make it your bitch. So that's what it is. So these people are your bitch. It feels like, uh, someone's targeted or, or there are people that are targeted. It's like, when I move, you move. What people don't realize when they do this is that they're actually slaves to the target because you don't go anywhere unless they do. You follow them everywhere. You're like paparazzi, you know, hiding in bushes, taking pictures, recording and everything like that. That's what paparazzi, that's what they do to celebrities in case you guys haven't figured that shit out. That, that's what you guys look like to, to people when a target knows their worth and they know they're destined for something great. That's how they look at it. Like, well, I guess this is just preparing me for what's to come in the future, you dig? <laughs> people don't like that. Well, okay. But these kind of people don't like anything. I'm sorry. You know what they do like? They like people who are down and out just like them. That's why they, they, they hang out with each other. That's why they target the one that's not. That's why the one becomes a target. Because, like, what do you mean you're not miserable? What do you mean you don't like to sit here and gossip? What do you mean you only shower twice a week? We shower once a week. How dare you? It's like if you're anything opposite of what these people are, you immediately become an enemy. But they'll never tell you that because usually you have something they need. They're using you for something. If you removed yourself from this group, there's something that would be missing. It could just be your energy. 
you know? I mean, people don't realize how codependent they are on just someone's energy, i.e. the people that come here. When I leave here, they're not going to know what to do with themselves. These people can't stop thinking about me. They come here all the time. They sit there. They listen to me. They sit upstairs. They sit next door. They sit downstairs. Some of them, it's because they actually just enjoy what I have to say. For others, they don't realize that they're, they're dependent on me. Like, I became their life now. So what happens that when you're so... It's like, it's like a boyfriend or girlfriend breaking up with you. I'm telling you, it's the same shit. It's just a different type of relationship, right? It's the same thing where it's like if, if one of these um, dudes try to leave to go somewhere else, the, the chicks get crazy. It's the same shit that's going to happen when, when the person that they're codependent on winds up leaving and removing themselves from the situation. Done something illegal with a family member. So you're, oh, wow. So this is, um, this is also, there are people that you're around that incest. Yeah, incest is okay with some of these people. S uh, sisters, cousins sleeping together and shit like that. Um, I hope this isn't a child. I hope that there's not somebody in this situation that did something with your child. Um, what's the child's name? Tell me, tell me the child's name. Hmm. Uh, Larry, Lamont, Alex, Lana, L-A L -A or A-L. Um, these people aren't supportive of anything that you do at all. That's be, be wary of, of people giving you the wrong advice. Like, you get a great job and somebody's like, yeah, but then you'll have to do this. Or if they know that you're starting a job the next day, they'll intentionally put something in your drink to keep you up all night so that you don't make it. It just feels like, it's just, you can tell, like... I look miserable. I have resting bitch face. Like, I can't believe it's not butter face. Something like that. So, who's the one that messed with this child? Or is, is Oliver? I just saw the OL card flip out. It's either Oliver or Olivia. I, I don't feel like it's a female. If it's a fee, if it's proposing as a female, they could be a male with a wig on. Is it an Olivia? Right. I mean, is it actually a female? No. There could definitely be... A tootsie in this situation. I mean, they pop up all the time, literally. And I want to say something publicly for you guys that are dealing with women who are quote-unquote celibate, but they don't mind getting banged in the ass, all right? That's not celibacy. That's a whore, all right? That's a whore who's acting like they're celibate because why? Because they have a dick in balls, my friend, okay? I mean, I this is like some shit. One, two, three, four, it was on the thing. Um, you guys are going to have to meet these people with lights on uh some of you guys are meeting them in the club or the strip club and it's way 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 too dark and if they're black and you're meeting them in a strip club this is why it happens to more black men than white men your girl just speaks facts over here that's all i know um you're gonna have to start asking if they have a dick and and if they get insulted by that then you know they're not down to earth is how your girl feels about it but there's no celibacy is a way of life it means nothing goes in anywhere. So maybe that the, the, you guys, when, when you meet someone that's celibate, you don't really appreciate it because your idea of celibacy is fucking in the ass. No, 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 no. When someone is celibate, like your girl here, it doesn't go anywhere. There's nothing. There's no oral. There's nothing. Nothing has happened because it's a, it's a way of life. It's an essence. It's something that you pride yourself on. It's respecting your body. And there's just not a lot of women who do it anymore. It's a shame. Uh, so is, is all, is this person an uncle or something? It feels like whoever this person is that messed with your child, is, is your child missing? Moving on. Yeah. You're going to be moving on from this group. Is, 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 is your child missing? Yeah. All right. Is this child missing? Oh my God. That child's not here anymore. That person is the one that did it. Tell me the truth. Is it uh, Olivia? Is this a cousin or a sister or something? Airplane? I don't know what that has to do with it. Airplane? I, the, the weird thing is, you could be messing with people who are actually planning on doing something to a plane. Like some of the people you could be hanging around could be people who do that. Like terrorists, and I want to say this publicly, Americans are the terrorists, okay? Uh, from this point on in my life, I have a lot of men from other countries coming over here and showing loyalty to me that I've never seen from a man before in my life. 
And and these guys to me are family, like they're family now, right? I love them. And wherever I'm going, they go, my buddies. That's just how it's going to be. I'm not interested in having uh, really any Americans, but there's always room for a couple, right? Um, because I'm just disgusted with how entitled and ungrateful and rude and ignorant I have been. Well, they tried to terrorize me, but it's like terrorizing a rock. Um, it's like literally trying to get a reaction out of a rock. But let's just say for the sake of argument, terrorizing has been done by Americans. And, and what's even more sad is that it's been done by more men than women. But I'm starting to realize that the reason, just push the button, that men do this stuff is because of the women that's in their life. Um, whether it's a mom or a girlfriend or a wife, it could be sisters that just are awful and nasty and mean and like to break them down. That doesn't mean that you treat everyone like that. But I understand because there us women have had that issue too, where we have had toxic men, fathers, uncles, husbands and stuff. People need to stop taking out things that other people do on people who don't deserve it because a lot of the times you meet that person and they're supposed they're, they show you the dichotomy between that that you're, it's a lesson it's like oh shit i see i see now not so you can attack that and then still hang with the one that's slowly trying to possibly kill you for some of you cheating on you you know what i mean hates you <sighs> That's not the whole point why the other ones are created and why we heal. We didn't go through the process of healing and, and get, getting through all this shit and taking the loss be, so that you guys can attack us and, and then give your attention or just even some kind of respect. I don't really feel like they respect these chicks either at all. It's hard to do that. Choking. Somebody is choking a child right now or choking. Uh, somebody could be, you know, I hope there's not somebody who's doing something with a child with an airplane. Like a toy. That that's what I feel like is happening. I hope this hold on, I gotta pause this. Yeah, there there's there's a, a someone's child that's actually getting assaulted in the room below me with an airplane and they're they're choking this child right now. And the the mother is a mother, it's either or the father, it's Hank, Harry, um, Haley or Hannah, uh sold their child for fentanyl. This is happening every day here where there are parents who are giving their children to pedophiles and and child rapists um for a four hour high of fentanyl okay and this is what i have to say publicly because i don't want to just say it privately overdose yourselves and do everybody on the planet a solid because you are a fucking waste of skin when you are like this i try to have compassion for the fentanyl addiction because a lot of people were given this shit covertly by their friends and it ruined their life but when you get to a certain point where children are being affected by your your poor decision to not get on Suboxone, especially when you guys were given an option to make appointment at Crossroads Treatment Center. Some of you did, and you're selling your Suboxone. Your time is coming to an end soon. Okay, the universe had you. You're useless. Do you serve no purpose? Like, a, a thank you. Your services are no longer required. Type of shit. You can't be a mother. You can't be a father. What are you doing? So, think about it. You know, I'm being dead serious. Think about that shit. You know what I mean? I don't feel like a lot of you want to be here anyway. So uh, I guess we'll just keep it moving, right? Um, you're you're going to be moving on from this group. But this, I, or maybe you, they know that you are. There could be a situation where you said you're moving or that you wanted to change something. So they're going to try and destroy that. All right? Don't talk about your plans with these people. Don't let them know anything that you are doing because they will immediately try all right there are some people i guess that came in they want me to say out loud and ships that are my actual friend it's philly they want me to say that out loud they are, they want me to talk about this publicly one i don't think there's any actual police officers that are still here uh, one by one they're being picked off by people um so i don't there are no actual police officers that can have the authority to arrest anybody around here anymore Okay, they all have fake badges. Um, they will have business cards. Uh, you, there's there's a way that you can check to see if they're actually a police officer. I keep that to myself. You guys are going to have to do your own, um, you know, your your own research on that. Somebody has. Um, hold on, hold on. Do you want me to say this? No. Son of a bitch. Bang. I don't know. Anyway. 
I don't know. It this it's just I, I, I can't stand it. Do your do us all a favor, all right? You're gonna be moving on with some guy. Did you meet somebody? If you did, if 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 you if it's the two of you, they're gonna try and split you up. If it's somebody that you're interested in, they're gonna try and send underage girls to try to get them locked up, or they're gonna try and send females to to, to distract this cat um, that have HIV and stuff. So be careful of telling these people or or even hanging around these types of people. If you're in a happy relationship, they will go they will go out of their way. They won't go out of their way to shower. No 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 no. They won't go out of their way to try to get help for addiction. Nope. They won't go out of their way to to go gang stalk maybe some body wash and a bath sponge. Nope. What they're gonna do is they're gonna try and destroy your life and your relationship that is what they're going to do ding 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 that's my final answer and i'm not phoning a fucking friend because you're broken people and you're hurt and you like to hurt other people the good thing about that though is that when you do what you do comes back so the fact that you guys like to hurt people you are about to be hurt in some way for some of you guys it's physical um winter is that the name of the child i guess that could be the name of the child that this is happening to all right, so you're you're gonna be, um, it's disgusting. You're you're gonna be moving on. Yeah, truth. It's like you shouldn't have to um, be around a group of people where you have to dumb yourself down. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you're smart, you're wise, and you're dumbing yourself down. Like these conversations, I don't feel like you speak a lot because you're just kind of being more of an observer. Because I don't feel like your lips could move for conversations like this. Is what I feel. Um, either one of you, if you're with this cat, I just feel like both of you, like if you're bored, you, you don't need, you'd be better off just hanging with the two of you, just the two of us, right? That's it. If you're not already with this cat, they're telling you to move on from this group so that you can, I don't know, you could already be, you could be with somebody that isn't any good. I hope that the, the person that you're with isn't the one. That was messing with the child and they're saying you need to move on and find somebody that shows you some love somebody that's honest because instead instead of getting your heart broken yeah use your intuition with somebody look at their face what do they talk about what do they do for a living does this person work does this person talk about their kids like as a father do they have kids do they take care of their kids if you're spending time with somebody who doesn't even spend time with their kids and you have kids, this, this man is not going to be a father figure to your children. Maybe you need to focus more on that if you have kids than just a relationship. I used to be that person, so I understand. Um, th but I feel like these people talk smack on you. Yeah, well, this person's juggling anyway. This person is in another relationship. This could even be a relationship with a male. Tell me who this person is juggling with. Tell, tell me who this person, Larry, oh, Larry or Lamont, look, Larry or Lamont or, or Alec or something, a nightmare. Has it been a nightmare in your life since you met this person? Like this is with the destroyer. This is also a male that go that intentionally sets out to destroy women because they have mommy issues, huh? It could be a whole bunch of them that just don't like women and you're hanging around a bunch of misogynists. Um, I used to do that as well. I, it took me a long time to realize that there are a lot of males that um, have problems because of the way that their mothers, for some of them, their mothers treated them like husbands. And it just, it just turned, they turned out weird because of it. Because it's like, now I, I, I kind of want a mother figure as a wife, but then I'm agitated with my mom because she's always like asking me a million questions. So when my wife is like that, or my girl is like that, I can't stand it, but I need her because I'm codependent on it. Cause I feel like that's, a, that's what love is supposed to be. And then what happens is like, it never works out. They wind up resenting the woman that they're with when really it should be their mom, but they can't tell their mom how they feel because most of these guys are codependent on their moms, whether they live in their basement or they live at their home or the mom picks up where, where they fuck up or something like that. And it's like Peter Pan syndrome. For those of you who don't know what that is, look that shit up because there's a lot of guys who have that and they don't even realize it. Once you acknowledge the fact that you have it, you can start changing it though. You're meant to be on stage. Are you a singer or a performer or something like that? I feel like you're destined to be on stage. You could be funny. 
for somebody for somebody listening because this is going to be for multiple people um you could just be funny or, or there's you know never a dull moment or i mean i'm so desperate so they could be trying to have you call somebody i hope it's not for ulterior motive you know what i mean i hope that you wouldn't do that for a group of people like this but nothing would surprise me though um you know i guess we'll see this, these people could be so desperate or just desperate. You being you heals people. So there's there's a... For who you are hanging with these people. They're taking advantage of the kind of energy. They're, they're addicted to your energy. I'm telling you. You feel depleted when you leave these people? Like, when you're around people who deplete your energy, this is how they deplete you. You show up, right? You show up, and let's just say there's five or six of them. You show up in the room... And nobody asks how your day is going. But as soon as you sit down, you're like, hey, what's going on? Oh, my God, so-and-so's cheating. And it's like you're giving advice and listening and because you care. And then it's like you're, you're depleted. You have no energy left. And, and then nobody asks you, like, how you're doing or what's going on in your life and shit like that. Those are called, yeah, they're peasants. Look, I'm telling you, these some of these people used to throw bread, your, your leftover bread, out of the castle, bitch. Okay, like here, take it, God damn it, take it, just take it. That's what I feel like, like these people used to bow down to you in a past life. Ugh. But yeah, that's what it feels like. They're called energy vampires, narcissists. They're narcissists. They only care about themselves. What, are these, what do these people do for you? Like what's the last time that you can say, oh, well that one did this, I needed this and that one without there being something in return. Like let's say you just picked up a script. And now all of a sudden someone's like, I'll drive you to work. When's the last time makeup? You don't even need to wear any makeup. Um, when's, when's the last time that somebody said, I'll do that for you. And there was nothing that you had to offer on the other side. Though when you have somebody that will do something for you and they get nothing out of it. Hmm, hello. They, you, those are the people that you want in your life. Why would you want anything else? Most of us don't even realize this because when you're asleep, you don't even realize there's something else or you're just kind of on an assembly line, like sleepwalking right um you being you heals people so somebody they could have lied about something as well to you and and now um i mean i wouldn't be surprised that's all people like this do yeah look somebody's fooling what is this pregnancy but i also see that somebody was a blessing in disguise to somebody as well and now somebody's like damn i should have just fucking said no you know what i mean because it's like i feel like a fool And now, now it's like, I don't even want it. You know, I'm, I'm, in, I feel like, well, now I don't even want to because I guess it's, it's out, you know, and that's what I feel like. Um, what is this? Yeah. Judgment. Somebody passed judgment and these people do, you made a bad judgment call. Um, but these people, all they do is judge people. They don't like the fact that either you or someone else is a blessing to this world, that they're happy. Like, this motherfucker skipping. Like, I got two different shoes on. I still don't give a fuck. Like, somebody can't be bothered, right? Like, it's like trying to bother somebody that's not bothering somebody. And and then, and then like, I don't know, interfering in someone's life. How would you like it? Like, whatever this was that was going to happen, would you be happy if that was being done to you? This is how I live my life. It's pretty simple. I mean, I don't really get technical with this shit. I treat people how I want to be treated. I also mirror energy, though. So if I have people that are bullies, I bully them. If I have people that are just raw with their mouth, I'm more raw, but I'm very clever with it. Um, if there's people who, uh, I don't really mimic sadness. I don't really know sadness. I'm, I'm, a, I, I mean, I'm nothing to be sad over. Um, but these are the kind of people who like to see people sad. And if they, if you're not sad, they will go out of their way to try to create sadness for you. But for some people that are healed, right? If you, the more you try to create sadness and hurt in someone's life, you will experience that like tenfold. There's some people that just can't be faded, and you'll put yourself in a grave, an early grave, trying to do that to somebody. Hmm? Sacrilege? That could be someone's password. Um, are you getting a settlement? Oh, okay. So whoever this cat is that you're with that doesn't have the ability to love it, you must have talked about getting a settlement. That's why. Ding, 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 ding. That's what it is. They know you're coming into some kind of money. These could have been people you haven't spoken to in a long time. I don't know if you posted something on your social media or you told somebody about you getting some kind of settlement and then it was like, yo, meeting, right? 
And, and it's like, we'll do this and say this and you do this and then we'll try to clone her phone and then we'll do this and you hack this. Yo, if they put their minds to this shit to, for some right shit, like some real shit, they, they would do all right in life, but because you're always on some bullshit like this. So I would get away from these people because they want you to share. They, you're probably a giving person. It's like, I'll buy you this and I'll buy you that. Uh, you'll wind up getting karma for messing with helping these people. I had to realize this because I was the one on the other end at one point that didn't learn my lesson. And every time somebody helped me out, they would lose. And it was because I wasn't learned. They, they shouldn't have helped me out. I had to learn. So I lost everything recently. 30, 30 is on the timer. And that's when I started building myself up from nothing because I realized that I was not changing. This is the same type of shit. You lend money or help people out that keep fucking up, you'll lose that money like five, tenfold. It's it's happened to me on both sides. So be careful of um, helping out people, especially if they're junkies. If these people are, are, are giving their kids up and, and you help them out with money that you got from something, that's like a blessing you're about to come into. And now these people are so happy. Look, look yeah, hi. You're like, and I feel like they're usually like this. Hey, yeah, what's up? If people are being like excessively nice to you, peep game on this shit, man. It's because you got something coming to you. I don't want to see you lose this shit. Um, what is this, Sabat? What is this shit? It's just, it's so conniving. Like, go get jobs. You know what I mean? If you can't get jobs or, or your life is that bad, then I mean, I don't know. Go fucking lay at home and stop bothering people. What is this? Focus on tradition and ceremony. Surround yourself with family and like-minded individuals. Are these people the same as you? Do you have the same likes? Do you speak the same? Are your brains the same? It doesn't feel like it. What is this? It doesn't feel like it. It feels like these people could not be more opposite of who you are. But maybe you just don't have any other friends. Maybe you're supposed to stay to yourself and isolate because you're going through a spiritual awakening. Or you're about to. Or something. You know, there's something where you're... You're, um, cause this is what I found out too. The uni like the universe will hold stuff. If they, if the universe knows that there's somebody in your life, that's an opportunist. Boom. That's what I couldn't think of the word. They're opportunists. They go wherever the opportunity is at. Cause they don't have any in their life because look at the shit they do. So they look for people who have opportunities in their life. And then they try to take that shit that the, the balls that we got inflated balls, like a motherfucker. These people do. But I realized that the universe will hold things. It'll, it'll look like you're being punished. People may even say something like, oh, it seems like they have bad luck. Or, no, it's because the universe knows your intent and, and is protecting that person by keeping money from them or a blessing from them until the lesson is learned that you have to cut these people out of your life. It'll look like punishment. What is this? Pick a list. They pick a list, the wrong one. Which one is this? Like, are there any gifts or anything these people are good at besides, like, just gossiping and trying to destroy people's lives? Beware of long-standing or family feuds. Is there some, family members? Allowing old resentment to linger. Okay, so these people never got over something, and they're acting like they did. This is like, don't worry about it. You know, we'll get over it. But because we know you're coming into money, and then the second that money comes, they'll wind up trying to possibly kill you for it. But, but take you, uh, I said take you. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to have you kidnapped. Be wary of this, all right? Why did they come back into your life? I feel like you, you're getting it now or, you know, because this is going to be for more than one because this shit happens every day, all day in our lives. We're just not cognizant of it until somebody brings attention to it. Why did you guys come back into my life? You know, where were you when I needed you? When I had nothing and this and that, where were you? Now, all of a sudden, you find this, right? So just be wary of that shit. But I feel like there's more here, though. Hold on a second. They want, you felt like you were actually in. This isn't the kind of group you want to be in with. No. No, 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 no. Uh, I feel like you stick out like a sore thumb with these people, man. And they're the only ones that realize it. I'm always impressed when you do things. So everything that you do, you do differently. You're just different, you know? You're special. I feel like someone is, is just a special person. And um, and these people see that and they hate it. I mean, I mean, I guess at one point they were special. I mean, everybody is special. Some of them are special uh, in that way. But they're, you know, they lost that that special in them. It feels like it got sucked out or drained. Um. Yeah, they're telling you to put your guard up with these people, man. These people could possibly be trying to get you locked up so they could take whatever this is as well. There's multiple ways that they try to do this, yeah. 
Put your guard up here because these people are about to get some kind of karma. I, I feel like it's close to tell you the truth. Just for the way that they've been acting, something is coming back to these people. So just be careful because you're stronger on your own. And, and once you stand strong on your own, you got some karma to clear out like we all did. And then like, this is what happens. You start to turn this wheel in your favor when you start turning your back and standing strong and, and standing firm on that shit with people who you're partnering up with, who you're being loyal to, who are possibly like in relationships and treating you like an option. When you get to a certain point of um, like ascension, you can say, and you know who you are, you are the only option. That is it. You won't allow that, that, well, okay, well, I mean, I guess you can see her or see him and then see me. You need to get to that point. But the only way it's going to work is if you get away from people who keep trying to, I feel like there's people who will, um, when you, you know, you look good and you go around, my mom used to do this to me, not, not my real mother. She was amazing. I, I can tell, but you know, the one who was insecure and just wanted to trap my father, um, she, if I, if I was happy or I just got an outfit or something like that and somebody would compliment me, she would always have to say like, I mean, it looks a little tight there, but it looks great everywhere else. It's like something like that. The top one, the top, it looks, it's like something like that. So, I mean, I'm going to clear that. I don't really want to stop. Maybe that's another message that these people just don't ever stop. And that's why they have to go about these means to get stuff off of people climb somebody has a scratch on them if somebody has a scratch on them that's because somebody fought so some something could have happened to somebody where, where um who has the scratch you don't know these people's past um or maybe you do and that's another reason pete who's who's the scratch from who, who's the scratch from oliver or olivia or someone oliver wait what was that Olivia Paul, Oliver Paul, Paul, Oliver, Paula, Oliver. Put it how it fits. Somebody fought off something. I don't know if this is a child of somebody's. Gaze? Does somebody just have a gaze in their eye? That's another thing. I mean, like, are these people just kind of swaying back and forth? Like, I'm just, I'm just seeing, they're showing me, um, the, the walking dead when they're just kind of standing there with their head tilted to the side and shit. Like, you may have to get an ax on some motherfuckers, huh? Maybe if they don't stop, you, it could be the kind of thing where I try, you know, and then they just, they call me, they over text. Uh, your boundary game is going to have to be on a thousand um, because it, it feels like something's being planned that could, that could end your life to tell you the truth. Tell me about this, this cat that has the scratch. Tell me about this cat of Virgo, possibly. This person could be real quiet or staying to themselves. Why? Uh, a Virgo and a Scorpio. I, it could, I don't know. It feels like. Um, hold on a second. Are these people friends with the guy that you're dating? Is this the guy that you're, it feels like these guys could have. Oh, no, 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 no. I hope these guys didn't just do, didn't do something. Yeah, th this is a. These are all karmic males. You're hanging around all karmic males. I, 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 something happened where they attacked somebody, and that scratch is from this somebody. Somebody fought back. I don't know if they're here or not. Home? Did they they break into somebody's home? Karmic female sending you family members from jail. Was this your home? Somebody broke into somebody's home and attacked somebody. Have to cut this person off. This, these are friends that, that of your dude, I feel like. who is, is this your child's name or a family member's name? Like Oliver Paul, Olivia Paul, or Paul? I don't want to tell me the truth. So it could be Paul Oliver or Paula Oliver fought these guys off. They broke into her home. I'm guessing they're a fentanyl addicts. <laughs> I'm, I'm just guessing that they are. And, and she could have fought them off. Blank has been letting me down lately. Pete? You've been letting somebody down lately? 
you were meant to be seen. Is this a friend of your dudes or something? Is this the same group? It just feels like, like, is there anything good happening here? I mean, do these people do anything upstanding or, or right? Or is everything fucking left? They attacked somebody and I'm guessing that they stole from them too. Tell me what happened in this house. What, what, what happened in this house? Circle, this is your circle, they're saying. Somebody's saying they're broke. They cleaned somebody's house out. I feel like they robbed somebody's home. And somebody didn't just let that happen. So they fought. Yeah, yes. Don't tell me they, they assaulted this person too. They could have, they did this for fentanyl. I can already feel it. They did something. I feel like it's a Paula um, circle and circle. Look at this shit. These are people in your circle that did this. Is this your mom or a relative of yours or something like that? Somebody needs to ask questions instead of just like letting, because you're not going to, these aren't, they're not going to just fess up. That's another thing I've said. Like people don't talk anymore. They, they don't, first off, they just don't have conversations about anything important, right? The, the crazy thing is I've had guys here ask certain people if they can tell time with a watch with hands on it. I don't feel like any of them could. It's real, it's real like depressing and, and disappointing that people just gave up on wanting to learn or it's not even learning. Like there's six year olds that can tell time like that, but this fentanyl is turning people's brains into mush. And so is the gang stalking. It's like, I, they just gave up on life, like soulless, lifeless, just, I don't know. I, it's just so it's sad. It really is sad, but I, is it, I feel like this is a family member of yours or somebody you care about. You need that. You need the, the, This isn't your circle at all. I just don't. It feels like a square peg in a round hole. But if you don't have anybody else, maybe it's because you need to stay to yourself for a while and do some uh, reflecting, right? All these people do is deflect. Everything is everybody else's fault. Be careful of sitting around people who uh, speak. They're saying someone speak, say something, ask questions, say something. Like, did you? Did you? Do you know what I mean? It's just so submissive, and, and I feel like people don't know how to talk anymore because of the masks that they wore during that thing. Their mouths were covered, right? And it's, it, people stopped communicating, and then now they come off the mask, and people are just kind of like silent, like fucking Helen Keller and shit, unless they're flapping their jaws and talking shit on somebody else that's not true. Ironically, that's the only time their mouths open. Or for chicks that are dirty, if there's a dick going in it, you know, or even for some dudes, you know, for some of you guys, that's what's happening. And you're cheating on your wives and your girlfriends and you don't have the balls to say, I, w I like dudes. And it's because of, you know what I mean? For a lot of you, it's because you're not getting any at home. So break up, but don't keep the girl around for like probably a home or her car or because her, she has a, a snap card. You know what I mean? Or she, she gets fentanyl. It, it just, it just feels like, you know, what is all this, man? It just feels like a sad life. If you could call it a life, but somebody needs to ask questions and speak or somebody asked and nobody's speaking, then maybe somebody needs to grab somebody by the throat um, and, and get some answers out of somebody. So I don't know whose family member that is, but it feels like somebody didn't deserve to get attacked like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be their own family member for for whoever is listening. I don't know who this is for. But. And in times that we're in, I'm sure it's going to be multiple people. Trapped. Did they tie somebody up? In a cage? That's what it feels like. It, it feels like somebody is uh, needs assistance. Hmm? Am I wrong? Paula Oliver? Need somebody to go there and see and, 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 and help her. All right. So I will, we'll see because, you know, if, if I sat there and said, there's a whole drawer full of fentanyl, that's when people would get up. This is how far people have sunk. There have been situations here where I have said that there, were a, there was a child getting assaulted. And when I say assaulted, I mean in a gross way with things. And it was somebody's child either that they knew that wasn't there or their own. And then I, I, a couple of times I, I tested it and I go, and I, I go, there's money in there too. And you hear, you're disgusting. You people are disgusting and you're a disgrace. And I know you feel like shit that you could, there's nothing you could possibly say to make me think otherwise, because it shows 
in your demeanor. You know, if you knew that all of this was on camera and that it would be shown to the world, most of you would just take your own lives because you wouldn't be able to handle the embarrassment and the kickback from it. So maybe you should live your life as if that's always happening. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's too late. It's too late for a lot of these people. Um, you could have gotten this shit in check a long time ago. If it's this, him, him, it was a struggle. There was a struggle. Somebody had to fight. I, are they even alive? I guess let's just ask, man. Let's just ask. If there was a struggle, um, tell me the truth. Is this woman alive? No. So they killed this woman, and I'm guessing they robbed her house. Him, they said. Is it Pete? Pete, the one with the scratch. Two plus two is four. Oh my God. I feel like people are just too busy nodding out or just like gay, like, like drooling and shit. Yeah, for an opportunity. Somebody was offered what? I don't feel like it was money though. I feel like it was drugs. You know? These people don't know what to do with money anymore. I have found money for people and they sit here. Because they're so used to just sitting there getting high on fentanyl that they forget to go out and spend it. Real rap. I can't even, I mean, I'm not making this shit up. There have been people that had suitcases full of money and they sat and it wound up getting taken from them. <laughs> I'm dead. I mean, this is like... So I mean, what, what, what do you do with shit like this? You know what I mean? It, the, the best thing for these people would just be to over, overdose. And you don't, I mean, they, you put in the work to go to someone's home, break in, rob them, and, and, and put up a struggle. But you can't walk to fucking work, or you can't go apply for a job, or just even wash your ass more than you do? I mean, what kind of shit is this? They could have robbed her refrigerator. I'm look. I'm, I'm drawn to like the food on this card. They could have taken food even from her and shit like that, man. Oh boy, violent. They're hanging with violent people. Look, this star, Aquarius. That could have been a chosen one, Paula Oliver. Could have actually been like a star seed or just just like an earth angel type energy, and that's why. Because they, I mean, you could be an earth angel and be a bad motherfucking bitch energy. There's certain people that they won't try and do this to. You know what I mean? So you ha you have to let people know what you will and will not tolerate. You feel me? Because you can't be too late, right? You got to be real dark with some people and let them know, come try that shit, motherfucker. And they won't, you know? They'll lie to other people to get them to do it because they're too much of a pussy to do it. That's what they'll do. They'll sit there and go, yo, this person's easy and da 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 you know? And they're not. And then somebody winds up finding out the hard way that they were lied to. There's nothing that these people won't do for fentanyl. A medium, she's a medium, or you are a medium, or they could be saying I'm a medium. I don't, I don't call it psychic. I don't like that word. Um, God, this just feels so dirty. There's nothing that they won't do if you if you have fentanyl addicts in your life, and they're not even talking about wanting to change. If they're given an opportunity, like a Suboxone doctor. And they don't take it or they wind up getting the Suboxone. They have her tooth. They pulled her teeth out. Um, so how far is this going to go before somebody intervenes is what I'm hearing or says something. Um, so if, if you don't have somebody that's at least trying, because there's people who go to the Suboxone doctor and then they sell them for fentanyl. You'd rather put that toxic shit in your body for four hour high than to actually go back to your life the way, and, and live or even a better life than what you had. Get away from them. Uh, th there is nothing that good that comes out of it. They will do anything for it, anything for it, which means they will kill their own child for it. So there, there was somebody that actually um, was here the one time, and they they graped their own child for it. So what? Where where do, where do you wind up doing the right thing and just taking your own life? When does it get to that point? Maybe someone will wind up taking it for you and doing you a solid. You know what I mean? Like it, something just has to come to an end here. It's just, it's too much. Some, somebody could have felt like uh, they liked that person and someone denied them and someone took that real personal. Like they could have said like, hey, oh, hey. And then someone was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Or, or I don't want to date you or something like that. And so it's like, well, I'll force myself into your life. I have a feeling that they, they raped and killed this woman. Yeah, look, because of your pride and ego. What is this? Is this a life insurance policy? Was this person dating? Is this someone that's dating like an aunt of yours or, or a sister? 
Is this a brother-in-law or something? They have a life insurance policy, don't they? This person owned a business. Did somebody own a business or something like that? But this person was strong on her own. Whoever this woman was, she was independent. So I don't know if this dude was dating her. He's an opportunist too. An investor. Somebody could have been a banker or an investor or something like that. Or they could have said they were. Somebody definitely could have lied about who they were to get into this woman's life. Yeah, truth to steal. Oh my God. Probably for a, I hope this ain't a punk ass gang like our gang. I don't respect it anymore. I, I, I have, I mean, I really never did, you know, because I seen what they're about. Even like cartels anymore. Like I just, but my father did shit differently. I can tell because I'm the same way as him. But nobody respects a bunch of bullies, you know. Um, when you're when you're preying on innocent people, you're a bully at that point. And when you put that word on it, now people they think differently, right? But when you put gang and cartel on there, um, I guess it makes it sound intimidating because it's just a word, though. It's it's what's behind it. I mean, you could have a whole bunch of Teletubbies and call it a cartel. That doesn't mean they're going to be intimidating. You know what I mean? And there are some that are, but the the shit's falling apart. I mean, it, there's just no loyalty. There's no honor. There's no brotherhood. I thought that's what that shit was all about. It don't feel like it to me. It feels like a lot of deceit and lying and cheating um, and STDs and, and I don't know, just rumors. Eyes tell you everything. So what's up? Maybe this, this female didn't pay attention to that. You need people around you that strengthen you. If somebody's not strengthening you, um, a belt, they could have done something with their own belt, like whip that person or tied her up with their belt. Or Is that person missing a belt? Somebody could have had a belt and then they didn't when they came back. And that's going to tell you everything. I don't really feel like people care. That's what I honestly feel like. Dark night of the soul. So somebody's going through that. She could have been going through that. She could have been having an awakening and stuff. And people were taking advantage of that. You know what I mean? Like, stop stop fucking with people when they're going through shit. Or you about to go through some shit. Heart? No. You know what's crazy, too? There were people that were upstairs that were cutting organs out. Okay? Um, I got to get names. There were people that were upstairs that were cutting organs out. Because they put so dark on both of these things. And then Harvest. When they put Harvest on it, usually, who is it? Sean Oscar? I mean, aren't you like Edward Scissorhands around here? But you're horrible at it. Because what they do is they cut them out. And they don't put them on ice usually. And then they carry them around with them like a fucking wallet. I mean, you guys are disgusting. I, I hope you're not hanging with people that were doing this. This could be Lamont or Larry Harrison. This person could need a heart. Tell me that somebody needs heart surgery or something. And instead of, I bring, look, I'm telling you, is somebody supposed to bring him a heart? So you cut somebody's heart out? Yo. This, these are the type of people, like, throat. You know what I mean? I mean, just make it quick. That's what I feel like. Like, like I mean, you don't even have to spend a lot of time on them. Because when you're doing this shit and you're you're sitting there watching this stuff or just uh, you just better off gone. I mean, I mean, what 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 possible good could you give the world? You don't have a fucking heart, so I mean, it's not yours, huh? This is so gross. I mean, do, do you people sleep at night? Or can you sleep? Or you just pass out for four hours at a time and shit like that. Target? You're a target. I knew it. I said it in the beginning. You don't even realize you're a target. Some, they they could have... Overwhelming, I'm telling you. It is. It's overwhelming, right? Uh, did you walk in with that? or you? Uh, because I feel like you're there. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I just... Uh, I don't know if others walked in and, is, and are like, what the fuck? back oh okay um <laughs> you're you're are you breaking or you're supposed to be breaking generational curses that could that's different for everybody for you dudes it's like um 
going to jail or prison or dying before a certain time, not, not being able to fulfill a destiny or leave a legacy behind, um, being with the wrong woman or letting a woman trap you with a child that now deters you from where you're supposed to go. And for women, it's the same way. It, it's being with a man who just wants to see you fail or wants to keep you stuck. And then you wind up spending your whole life trying to please a man who just doesn't care about you. For uh, other dudes, it's healing misogyny and the way you feel about women because of a mother or, you know what I mean? And a lot of the times, uh, your mother will um, was a wife in a past life. And if you have that close relationship where it's like, why is she treat me? like a husband or why am I so codependent on her? It could be because there's some kind of spiritual bond with your souls. It has nothing to do with who she is in this lifetime. For, for some of us, we have had multiple marriages and other lifetimes. And then, you know, you're still spiritually married to somebody. If you didn't, um, if you didn't divorce, you're still connected to them spiritually. Um, yeah, this is like, um, this is, as it keeps getting darker and darker. Hmm? Wait, that's too many. Oh my God. I feel real hot all of a sudden. I hope somebody wasn't, isn't setting that woman on fire in April. Are you, that could be somebody's name for somebody. Or, or something happened in April. Owners know that the neighbors aren't paying rent. Cool. Then neither will they. Then nobody's going to pay it, right? <laughs> I mean, if there's somebody that knows that other people aren't paying, then nobody's going to pay. And that should be a problem. Like, we're excited about that. Thank you. Um, so what is this with April? What What is this? Paint? <laughs> what is this um, with April? Counterpart? You found your counterpart. You both have birthdays in April. I don't know. My birthday is April 26. You know what's crazy is there have been three chosen dudes. It was Dave, Tiffany, Pat, Tiffany. I think was it Tommy the Giacomo? I forget. No, it was someone else that all had April 26 as their birthday. So somebody. That's not really my birthday though. My birthday, I believe, was like February. I was kidnapped in April, on April 26th. So I feel like it was just easier for them to make the, the birth certificate the day that I was kidnapped. Taurus or Virgo. Um, April. <sighs> what happened? Did these guys all do something to you back in April? Or they did it too in April? They leave you behind or leave you by yourself while you were getting attacked or something like that. That's what it feels like. There could be 10 of them. They're jealous. They're, they're, they're jealous that there's some kind of older guy. Oh, my God. They feel... So they, these people were all betrayed by people, so that's why they like to hurt people. But they're jealous of somebody. Who? Who? Yeah, use your intuition for somebody. They're jealous because, first off, somebody's married for somebody. They're actually married. But there's also some people that are jealous because somebody may want to marry somebody. Be careful telling people your plans. You know, if, if they don't know, they can't destroy it. Right? So just, just keep that to yourself, I guess. Whatever your someone's plans are for marriage or with, to, to connect with somebody. Because... It feels like they're, as soon as you say it and then you walk away or you leave or they leave you or something, they're immediately meeting up with each other to try to figure out how can we do this? Can we get this person away from them? How do we do, like, instead of saying, like, how do I go and at least steal a bar of soap from CVS? You know what I mean? This is so simple. Don't make it less simple. Like, it's simple or, or a decision that you have to make is simple to cut them off and stay to yourself. For somebody, like you're with jealous people who know that, that something's coming for you or, and, and they're going to, um, I just feel like it's, it's, it's clear as day. Yeah. Love. So they see that you love somebody or someone loves you or there's love somewhere. And so, and so now what I'm, I'm just curious. So like now what it's, it should be so simple to cut these people off is what they're saying for somebody. It should be so easy. And then what, or maybe it was, maybe for somebody, you didn't realize how simple it was going to be to cut these types of people off. Yeah, happiness. Somebody throwing up the W to somebody like, yo, this is awesome. Or 
Who's throwing up the W to somebody? Who, who's throwing up the W to somebody saying like this is amazing or it's either you need to or you did, Fran or Frank. It could be Francesca. Um, I feel like there's multiple people saying this though. Like stay to yourself. These people want to fucking betray you. Um, Fran Buck or, or Francesca. This could be Rebecca as well. There could be a cop. saying like these people are jealous that maybe now you have i don't know this is just like an older dude like it's like 40 to 50 i feel like and and it just feels real like oh really well we'll see about that that's what it feels like to me so be be wary of this shit man i mean so the, whatever this is that's happening is simple it's easy it flows it's like oh my god right um, what is this? Calling you from fake phone numbers. So be careful of your own friends or some people trying to call from fake numbers and say that it's somebody else. Like, hey, I don't think this is going to work. Or, you know, I changed my mind. Because they're using software and they're using apps now to do this shit where they can send messages from someone's phone number to you and say certain shit. Like, hey, it's Mo and so. I got your number from so and so. And I just wanted to say, like, I just don't think this is a good idea. Or they're going to try and send it to someone else. They're going to try and fuck some shit up because they're fucked up you know what i'm saying so maybe it's just best to like block these people in your phone and just block them from your life because they they don't they don't give a fuck about you you know what i mean you could you could have got a chain or or some kind of jewelry or walk you came back around them with something else on and they can tell something's different or you're just different something up their sleeve uh, you know what i'm hearing did we really have to tell you though you know what I mean? Like, did we really have to tell you that there's something up their sleeve? Be careful of somebody saying, like, trying to get you somewhere or get your attention. And it's, it's like to fuck you up in some way. For someone, it could even be get off you because they're that jealous. A triangle. Someone's going to say that there's a, okay, that's what it is. Someone's going to try and say, like, yo, um, I'm with this person and how dare you? And it just feels like, when's recess? That's what I just heard. When's recess? Like, go get your fucking Capri Sun and shut your mouth. That, yeah, I'm getting hyped. The mall. So somebody knows. That, don't. What did you tell? Did you tell people? Are you telling people stuff? Are, are you telling people stuff that you know don't want to see you do well? They're dense. These people are dense. Aries. Somebody or somebody told them that you went to the mall. There's somebody that you can't go figure. There's somebody that you can't trust that told these people you went somewhere. Like, how dare you go to the mall without us, motherfucker, because you're not my kids. Shut up. That's what I feel like. Like, I I'm not your father. You know what I mean? I'm not your husband. I'm not your boyfriend. Because it's a male energy, this King of Pentacles. Like, what the fuck do you want from me? Am I supposed to buy you something? Yo, the balls. I, the, the entitlement, I feel, is like, like, I could bitch slap people for, yeah, right, they put like, you know what I mean? Am I supposed to be careful of, 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 don't lend people money or give them anything or these people don't like you. They're jealous of you. Look at this shit. Happiness, security. So, I mean, you have, sec if this isn't a marriage, this is you having secure. You could have a home and stuff like that. And these people have no fucking home. And, and, and it's like, you know, comply. Do not comply with this. Yeah. Accidentally drank something with trash or a cigarette in it. Don't drink the fucking drinks with these people. They're going to put something in it. If they already didn't, don't drink it. Don't trust them. Don't talk to them. Don't smell them. Don't look at them. Don't think about them. I'm telling you, I feel such awful, disgusting, jealous. Like, like if, if we can fuck this up or kill this person, you know what I mean? It's horrible. I just, it's horrible, this shit. What is this? Use the paddle while having sex. So somebody's going to try and say that like they're fucking you all right still or that they, we had a threesome or they're going to try and get you to have sex with somebody. They may have to put something in your drink to do it. Grandchild? That plane goes to Miami. Somebody may try to say something happened to a grandchild or something like that. For somebody in particular, that they did something to a grandchild. Or this could be your grandparent saying, like, you're my grandchild. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking out for you. This could be, this could literally be, this is like grandchild. <laughs> Maybe this is like my grandson or my granddaughter. Somebody saying, like, how do you not see this? Or something like that. Swap. 
Don't swap spit with these motherfuckers. Oh, swapped your drink. <laughs> Keep your eye on your drink because somebody's going to try and swap your drink real quick. They're going to distract you. Hey, what's up? Look at this. Oh, I dropped that. Can you? They're going to drop their phone because you're probably a good person and you would like bend over to get it. Yo, these people are very methodical. They think they're good at what they do. And, and, and if you're not aware that they do this, they may be, but now you're aware of the shit. So I, I would remove yourself and stay gone. Look at these people and look at you. Once again, look at the people and now look at yourself. We're not going nowhere. Love you, Philly.